Well, good morning. Today's Tuesday and welcome today to our daily prayers. I've just taken a funeral and um, for someone in church and there was a number of church family members there. And there's a huge strength when we're saying goodbye to someone in doing it together with others. And so I just wondered this morning whether you'd like to thank God for those Christians around you who walk with you. Might be family, might be folk from church or somewhere else. But it, you get a lot of strength from walking with others. So maybe thank God in particular for someone who you know that you who walks alongside you. And so we pray together now. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. And so today we're looking at that verse again in Deuteronomy, chapter 6, at verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. And as I think we may have been saying yesterday, this command uh, prefaces all the smaller laws but the idea is this is the overarching idea and I think I'm right in saying this is the first time we're told to love God not just follow him like slaves not just to be obedient he's not simply a distant God but actually one with whom we can have a relationship that we can love we can get to know his presence we can pray to him and it's out of that, and in particular, the knowledge that he loves us, that we can begin to return that compliment, so to speak, and to love God. It's a bit of a new way of thinking about things, not just being obedient, but actually expressing our love for God in all that we do, in our prayers, in our daily walk. And so perhaps a good prayer today would be that you might love God as he has loved you and that might be shown in your thoughts and actions and feelings a space for our prayers now And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>